Today we're going to talk about how to make a clay whistle. Here's some examples of what you need to do with your clay whistles. We have, you're going to make them into little creatures, give me little animals, whatever you want to do with them, but they also have to work. <whistles> That's what I'm grading you on. Don't worry if your projects aren't as good as these. I'm not really concerned about that. I just want you to take the time to try to make them into something. We're going to paint them. We're not going to glaze them, which is a little, something a little different. You're going to you know, have more variety of color and stuff like that. Then I'll clear gloss them for you at the end, and this is what you're going to make. All these clay whistles. How do you make them? Well, you're going to take a small amount of clay, you're going to make a pinch bowl. <coughs> I've demoed it a few times before, but it doesn't hurt to go through it again real quick. Again, I plunge my thumb in there, and I begin to pinch, work my way around. Make a nice little pinch bowl. It can be shallow or deep, it does not matter. The next thing you do is once you make your pinch bowl, you're going to flatten out some clay on the table. And it's really easy to do. All I do is I take the clay, take my hand, flatten it out on the table, and then I begin to throw it at an angle. And it stretches the clay out, and it gets thinner and thinner and thinner. That's all you want to do. Get it about this thickness here. It's about a quarter inch to an eighth is roughly what it is. Once you have the two pieces done and prepped out, you're then going to take your pinch bowl, put on top of that slab of clay, take your needle tool, and draw a circle, or literally draw the line around your piece a little bit. A little bit bigger than the bowl itself. Now let's go back around, cut it out. Don't worry if it's not perfect, because in the end, we're going to blend it all back together in the end. That's what we have here. You're then going to take it, you're going to score this and score the edge of your piece. Apply slip. Let's make one that works. Place some slip. There we go. To both pieces. There we go. Press it down on the table. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my seam and blend it up into the bowl, working my way around. You can use a wooden tool to help blend up your seam as well there. I'm just going to take it, tap it on the table a little bit, make sure everything is very well blended together. Then you have the body of your piece is what you have here. Whatever it's going to be in the shape of it in is what you have is the body of your piece. Then what we're going to do is you're going to take a little bit of clay, you're going to make the mouthpiece. All you do is you make it into a little square with your hands, a little cube shape. And you take one side and kind of pinch it and make it a little bit thinner. So it looks like this. Once you have it, you're going to attach it directly to the very bottom of the piece. So it's going to look like a little turtle, almost. I at least leave it on the table, put it flat, and press it on there. I can take it, if the clay is kind of dry, like you do this the next day, you don't want to score and slip this on, but if the clay is all the same consistency, which mine is, I don't have to do that. I can just take it and be able to blend it on there. Again, I can use my little wooden stick to blend it. I make sure my mouthpiece is on there very well. Now, I use these other two tools that are different from what we normally have. They're called popsicle sticks. I have one that's pretty plain and regular, and I have one I've done some adaptions to. Made a little pointer out of it, and I gave the other one a little beveled edge. And these all come in handy when you're making your clay whistle. What I do is, I'm going to poke a hole through the bottom here of the whistle. 
I want to go a little bit above the slab I just add on the bottom, but not too high up. So it's right about there. I don't, want to, I don't want to go this way, I don't want to go this way. I want to push it in so it goes in like this. Take it, push in, pull it out. The regular popsicle stick in. Now what I do is, when I have the regular popsicle stick in, I put the other popsicle stick parallel on top of it. I take my needle tool, make sure it's parallel, and I draw just two lines. So it looks like that after they've been drawn. Then I flip it the other direction. I go a little bit below where the mouthpiece started, where it kind of the mouthpiece connects to the bowl, and I draw two more lines. You see I made a square of those lines connected? Those are the lines I care about. The rest of them I don't care. Then I take my popsicle stick, the flat side of it, and I'm going to go through it and I cut one, two, three, four. Let's cut it out. Take out that little cube. I should see the popsicle stick inside the very bottom of the piece. Now what I do is, if I just pull this out and try to make it, it might work, but I need to bevel this back edge. Without it beveled, it's not going to work. You can either push it down so it's in a beveled, or use the bevel scooper and scoop a little more clay out and give it a nice beveled edge, as you can see there. I then pull my stick out, looked inside the hole to make sure my airway is clear. If it isn't, I can take my needle tool and kind of just make sure there's no clay stuck there, and it should work. Let's see. That's what it works. If it doesn't work, there's a few problems you might be running into if your whistle does not work. Your airway is blocked, you don't have a beveled edge at the very back, or you made your hole too deep inside your whistle, or your, your, the width of your bowl or the depth of your bowl is not deep enough for it to make that whistle sound. But right after you make it, you should be able to test it. You're going to make two of these, you're going to make them into animal creatures as I showed you before, and change them. All I ask is you don't make igloos or turtles, because it's pretty simple to make them. They must be made into something else. That's how you make a clay whistle.